Welcome back everyone. As you probably know already, there has been what is being termed or deemed to be a mass shooting out in Colorado earlier today. So right now it is 9 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this attack just happened a few hours ago and details are starting to come out. However, as we all know, very often the first reports are wrong. So I don't want to make presumptions based on, you know, ancillary things that I have heard. Um, we're not going to put the killer's name up or anything like that. Um, however, it appears multiple people were killed and uh, including a police officer as well as multiple civilians as well and that the purported killer is still alive. Uh, that much we know right now. Now, why do I bring this up? Well, because it has political ramifications. Um, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I was doing a live video and viewers were asking me what I thought of HR, whatever anti-gun bill that is aiming to uh, strip us of our natural rights to defend ourselves as we see fit. And my response was, at that time, I didn't see a high probability of any of those things passing. Um, but if there was a, this was my term, if there was a Las Vegas style event, um, then the left will try to seize that and use it to strip your rights away. Um, because again, what they do is they take the actions of criminals and apply them to law-abiding citizens. So um to sort of see if that was happening or not i went on my twitter feed and just typed in the hashtag of boulder if you do that right now you'll see exactly what i'm about to explain to you there were actors politicians national local um different influencers things like that out there on the left all calling for gun control there were all these people saying the nra was responsible for this uh, Mitch McConnell, um, lots of different entities were all responsible for this. Donald Trump with his racist rhetoric, etc. cetera, um, were being blamed for this, all for the aim of passing gun control very quickly while this tragedy is on the minds of people who really don't pay a lot of attention to firearms, firearms policies, just the news in general. Um, so just real quick, if you are new here and somebody sent you this video, if you take a look, there'll be a link down below in the video, this in the description rather of this video, uh, to the FBI crime statistics. And um, purportedly, the killer was using a long gun. I've seen three different eyewitness reports at this point. One of them said it was an AR style rifle, uh, and the other two both said it was a rifle. Um, so, with that, we don't know what it was at this point, but let's presume it is a rifle with a magazine over 10 rounds. What they're going to do is use that again to try to enact some sort of legislation nationally to take your right to have that away from you. And uh, again, what I was getting at earlier in terms of crime statistics, rifles of all kinds, whether it be a bolt action hunting type of rifle, an AR-15, an AK, or any other variant thereof, uh, are used statistically almost never to kill people. Uh, you are more likely in America to be killed with a blunt object, i.e. like a hammer, a baseball bat, etc., than you are with a rifle of any kind. That's not including AR-15s. And AR-15s, just to point it, out, point it out, are the most popular rifle in America by far. Nothing else even comes close. In terms of ownership, there are tens of millions, perhaps over 100 million of them out there in America, and the fact that they are almost never, statistically never, um, used in crimes goes to tell you that it's just they are not the problem. However, in the small instances where they are used, the media highlights it and just shoves it down your throat every single time. Think about it. The last time you heard about, you know, 15 people being killed over a weekend in Chicago, did they name the gun? No because they're using handguns and the media can't easily vilify them with an image of a scary black gun. But whenever it happens with an AR-15 or an AK, that image is right there on the headline, in the newspaper print, right up front for everybody to see. They're trying to vilify it, again, to remove your right to defend your family's life, to defend your life, to defend your nation as you see fit. So just be on the lookout for that. And to that end, I'm sure right now on the left, there's gonna be a huge push of folks writing their senators, congressmen, uh, President Biden, etc., to enact some sort of gun control. And when that happens, I need there to be two of you out there writing 
to oppose that. Let them know that this is absolutely not acceptable. We don't, will not stand for any future infringements on our rights. They've already been infringed on enough, and there will be links down below in the video description to contact them as well. So that's it, guys. Again, it, it's a fresh story, so I don't want to make a bunch of presumptions about it. But I do know history, and when these types of things happen, the types of things I just described politically happen afterwards. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you in the next video.